Hey kid, might you be looking for a resolution, a goal to set? Perhaps you want to find ways to make things better? Have I got the book for you. Oh, how to change the world in 12 easy steps. The world, the world in only 12 steps. Just 12. Oh, ho, ho, ho. very ambitious storyteller. It is ambitious, Olivia the Ostrich, but we can do it. Ambitious. I like it. Me too. Are you ready, kid? Let's do this. Because we've got things to do. And, and it says 12 easy steps, not super duper hard steps, easy steps. So we should be able to handle this. Did you know that you, 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 you have the power to change the world? Yeah, I'm totally gonna change the world when I'm president. No, 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 Green Bear, not in the future. Then when? Now. Now? I can change the world right now is what you're saying before I'm even president of the world in the United States first? That's exactly what I'm saying. Read on, storyteller. I must know this. I know. It's easier than you think. Start small. Make your bed and tidy your room. I can't find my phone. I'll help you clean up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. You're telling me that if I clean the room, I change the world? You have already made the world a cleaner, more organized place where you can be happier and more productive. Oh. I see where you're going with this. And, and I see that there was some teamwork involved in changing the world here because she got help from her friend. Exactly, because what do we say? I forgot. I'll remind you. It takes teamwork to make the dream work. I remembered, I remembered. Teamwork to make the dream work. Give your parents a hug and a kiss. Oh, 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 sorry, Taylor. I am very good at this one right here. I know you are. You are like the master of kisses and yummy hugs, Dr. Dinosaur. Oh, oh, I know. And, and, and I make the world a better place because those hugs and kisses make people happy. And happy is good, isn't it? Happy is very good. Spreading happy, even better. Oh, mm-hmm. If you see a piece of trash, throw it away. Already right there, thanks. You are helping become part of the solution to the problem. Storyteller's done that. I'll go and find trash on the floor and it drives me batty like, ah, why, why? There's a trash can right there. So I take it there because why? We're making things better. If you see someone who needs help, volunteer to help them. Oh, let, let me be of help, Mr. Needwitz. Thank you, Sanjay. See, because it was going to be hard for him to reach the top button because he's in a wheelchair. But he helped him out. May the fella feel better, was a good neighbor. And now, look at them. He's on the bus, and here he's doing a good deed. Smile at someone. And he's smiling at this girl and brought a big smile to her face, and she's waving back. But look, just before the bus went by, he noticed her looking blue. And by doing that one simple gesture, he made her world better. If you help one person, you're making the whole world better already. Do you see someone sitting alone? Invite them to join you or go sit with them. So. That frown got turned upside down real quick. He joined her, then some more friends joined in, and suddenly now we have a new circle of friendship, ending the sadness, and what? Spreading more happiness, see that? Because happiness, well, I don't know if you know this kid, but it's contagious, like a good virus. What? Is someone being bullied? Now this is a big one. Has this ever happened to you? Have you seen it happen to anyone? You should be prepared. Is someone being bullied? Can I play? Scram! You don't know enough about baseball to play. What do you do? How do you make that better? Stand up to the bully with them, but don't bully the bully. That's key. So how do you do that? Let's see how she does it. Everyone is welcome to play, George. You can be on our team. See, they're not yelling at him. They're not saying, you're being mean. She's saying, Everyone is welcome, everyone. Like reminding him what the deal is with sports. And you don't bully the bully. That reminds me of this beautiful saying that I read 
from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and it, it, it stayed with me forever and ever. And it said, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. So that's what this is right here. You don't bully the bully. You bring light. You bring love and compassion and you make everything better. Everyone is different, except people for who they are. That's pretty easy. Like this kid right here, she's wearing a headscarf. It looks like she's new. Maybe she's worried right there because she thinks, oh, I'm different from the other kids. Maybe they won't like me or accept me, but no. Hi, are you new? Nice to meet you. Welcome to our school. See, already that frown was turned upside down and her world is better. The whole world is better. And here we are, it says here, just be the best you that you can be. So in still life class today, if everyone is a still life and you're a banana, be a banana because the world needs your banana. Stay in school and develop your beautiful mind. For example, this kid right here, looks like she's gonna be a future scientist. She's got some beakers, she's got notes. She's already winning prizes. And in the future, what is she dreaming of? A scientist, being a scientist who invents chocolate, spinach, and wins a Nobel Prize. Oh, I really want this to happen. Keep studying, keep doing this. Oh, I can't wait. I know, that's actually pretty exciting stuff. So you, that's why she's staying in school, developing the beautiful mind. If she does that, and you do that, and you do what you're supposed to do, that's something fresh, new, and exciting, you're gonna make the world better. I mean, why would the world not be 100,000% better with chocolate spinach? It just would. It just would. Never give up on yourself or your dreams. All things in life are possible. And look at that. We have a kid here named Henri. Ooh la la, he is French, yes, 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 because that is Henry with an A, ah, which means it is not Henri, it is Henri, and he is French. Hello, bonjour. Oh, I see you are dreaming, big dreams. Go, 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 ooh la la. Thank you, Gilles the Giraffe. And that's right, Dr. Young Henri is dreaming of being a vet and he's taking care, good care, of his teddy bear. Looks like he has a bit of a, a tummy ache and he's got his good assistant Rover here and he's already treated uh, the bunny for also some sort of an unspecified injury. And then here in the future, an award of veterinary excellence on the wall has gone to Dr. Henri, oh la la, I am so proud of you. Oh, I am so glad that you did not give up on your dreams. Oh, I, I would go to you should I have like a neck ache or something. Oh, that's a good idea, that's a good idea, Gilles. And look, taking care of a dog now because he never gave up on his dream. He went to vet school, that's a lot of work, but you can do it. Forgive people who hurt you or your feelings. Now this one right here is gonna be a tough one, kid. Forgiveness doesn't mean that what they did was okay. This is an amazing science fair project. Thanks, I worked really hard on it. Oh no, 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 no! Oh no, it's ruined. Gosh, that's hard to look at, right? Oh, I can't even stand it. Oh, that's pretty bad, even for me. Well, if what Jefferson thought it was bad, it's pretty bad. Now, if you're this kid and you have just had the science project that you obviously worked so hard on be totally ruined by this rude kid who just threw a football just because, because you don't throw a football inside like that in a science fair, you would be beside yourself, wouldn't you? You'd be angry, you'd be sad, you'd be frustrated. Would you feel forgiving? Maybe not right away. Let's see what the book tells us. Forgiveness doesn't mean that what they did was okay or that you have to be friends. It's important to stay safe from people if they might hurt you again. Like if this kid's a bully and he's mean, we gotta stay away from him. But then what do we do? Forgiveness means that you decide you don't want to be angry. And when the anger is gone, there's more space for happiness. When the anger is gone, taken away, then the happiness does have room to get back in there. Because I mean, if you think about it, it is hard to be angry and happy at the same time. It just isn't. No, I don't think I've ever felt those two at the same time. Have you? 
I would think that those are very hard to fit into the heart at the same time. So I see what they're saying. So if you forgive and you get the anger to go, there's more space for happiness. It might take some time to be ready to forgive and that's okay. So you fixed it. I did and I won first place. He won first place even after that disaster. So what he did was he got to work. He could have been like, it's no use. It's broken. I can't fix it. I'm going to go home. And why did I even bother? He could have done that, but he didn't. He said, you know what? I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to fix it. And he got to work because he didn't focus on the anger. And he was, I guess he was able to forgive the kid and just move on and make it better. And the kid, well, he doesn't have a first place, does he? Mm -mm. You've got nothing. This book is based on beliefs and teachings of a woman named Eva Kaur. Listen to this. When Eva was a kid, she and her family were put into a prison camp where her parents and her older sister died. That was during World War II, during something called the Holocaust, where some mean people hurt her family and so many others like her. Um, if that happened, you can understand why Eva would be furious, angry, full of revenge and mean thoughts, right? I mean, what could make you angrier than somebody hurting your family, right? And taking them away from you? But that's not what happened. Let's see what she did. Many years later, Eva met a doctor who worked at the camp where her family died. There she is speaking right there. That's a really good illustration of her. Now this doctor was very kind and gave her the help she asked for. So she decided to write him a letter of forgiveness, that that would be the best way to thank him. She wrote him a letter of forgiveness because he was there when her family died and he didn't help then, but then he helped her now. Eva then decided to forgive all the people who caused her so much pain. And to her surprise, and this is a big surprise, but this is the truth. Forgiveness gave her feelings of power and happiness. And she wanted to tell everyone about her experiences. So she started going around the world, telling her beliefs to all these people, grown-ups, teachers, kids, everyone. She wanted every kid to know that with small gestures and forgiveness, they could change the world. You know who they are? Mm -hmm. Eva was right. Even if you are young, you have the power, the power to be kind, to be happy, and to make people around you more kind and happy. When that happens, you know what, what you do, right? It's like an effect, a ripple effect. It just keeps spreading and spreading and spreading and spreading. Always remember, making the world a better place can start with one person. And that person is, mm -hmm. you know, who? Who? You. That's who. That's right. So you're ready to go change the world in 12 easy steps? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm so inspired. You know, storyteller, I like to change the world through my art. Oh, yes, Olivia the Ostrich? Yes, yes. With my song and dance and acting, I make people feel and I make them experience wonderful things in their heart and their soul. And that's how I make the world a better place. That's true. The arts is an amazing way to change the world. And I'm gonna do something like, uh, like, like, I'm gonna start, like, maybe getting my friends to start picking up uh, trash in the park and stuff. I'll give you gloves. Okay, so I can keep my paws clean. Exactly. And then we can, like, make the world nicer and cleaner. And then, like, maybe when I'm president, I can pick up the trash around the White House, too. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. Ooh la la, I am so inspired. I am going to buy some macaroons and give them away because uh, everyone knows that macaroons make everyone happy. Now that is very true. I am going to go around giving extra yummy hugs. Oh, I want one of those. And I am sorry, tell it a wallow bear. What are you going to do to make the world better? Because you already do. <laughs> I know. I really love the language that you use in this book about forgiveness because it is very true, storyteller. I know because I have been around a very long time and it is important to forgive 
Yeah, well, Bear, do you find that it helped you? Oh, yes, because otherwise it is like drinking poison. No, I don't want you to drink poison. Exactly. But being mad at somebody else and, and being full of anger is like you drinking poison. The, the other person, nothing happens to them, but you are the one who becomes very sick inside. So I love this book. Oh, you are so wise, Abuela Bear. Oh, I know. Also, I'm going to try to make chocolate spinach. Oh, I can't wait to try that. I do, I'm going to change the world. What Jefferson, you are going to change the world? How? I know. I'm going to bring smiles to everybody by offering them free bad stew. And on that note, go find how you can make the world a better place. There are some really good ideas in here. And I know you've got the heart and the brain to find exactly what you're meant to do in this world to make things better. <laughs>